what? Let's just end this immediately. But before we get there, we have to go Cloud Draw on top versus Pegasus MYN. AJ, <laughs> welcome to the pub match. So I'm kidding, guys. This is the tournament. Game number one is going to be Hardpoint on Rust. It's so beautiful <laughs> to see as Ma Glowy bringing the sniper <laughs> in here for the play at Rust, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. And obviously, Aaron wants to take all of this vantage point for himself with the CBR, will be able to play a lot of pressure. Clearly not the objective player in this situation as he just wants to roam around, clearing out all of the opposition. He calls for a little bit of a backup as well. And the first eight points goes over to Claudra on top, who stayed on top. Yeah, stayed on top in indeed. And now we do see uh no one's gonna hop on the hill yet. I mean I've I've played my fair share of Russ in my console days, AJ, and no one hops on the hill. They, they don't really want to. Everyone wants to try to drop that new drop just drop a lot of streaks. So I mean it's just it feels like a show match at this point, but here comes Sad. Gonna take one gonna take, take down two players as well. So far, Cloudra, they have that early lead. I mean, this, this is the kind of map that really tests your teamwork, right? Because you are going to be pissing your team members off <laughs> when you don't respond quick enough. And at the very same time, there are 1,001 of those directions that are being called out by the rest of your team members because of, you know, the various positions that you can hold as the opposite side uh, in this map, right? And it's just all out chaos as we anticipated. But the players of Claudra on top now, they back away, all holding on to the second hard point. But nobody, once again, like you mentioned, hopping onto the hill actively. Yeah, no one's really hopping on the hill actively. And I think they just need to look get those streaks. And here comes Zyro actually about to get that cluster. That's going to be very, very huge because of how small the map is. That cluster strike can change the, the pace of the game here. But Wolfie, he's going to get taken out. Him takes himself out. 21 to 10, the Pred comes in as well. And so far, this P2, no one's really hopping on it. Rotations have come through in P3. But the P3 hill, a little bit, uh, it's it, it has a lot of cover there, actually. Yeah. But if you do get spawn trapped, it's going to be hard for you to get out. Yeah, absolutely, man. And you know, just as we figured from the get-go, this was most definitely going to be a very interesting day. <laughs> That's what we promised you guys yesterday. That's what you witnessed in here today. The first time ever rushed in competitive, and it is just all out a massacre for any team that chooses to jump onto the hill. They are going to get shut down one after the other. Now, the rotations, we are not going to be judging them too strictly in here because... <laughs> It's not a map that everybody is excited to go in and, you know, practice on, right? And like you said, Jericho, the players just spawning above one another. It's just all-out chaos as you try to spot out in front to the back. You start spawning out of one corner and the map is just so small that you just do not know how to anticipate what the map is going to throw you right next. So you just have to play a lot of these situations offhand. Yeah, I mean, you know, I don't even know how to cast this map. I'm just going to say, just play like it's a pub. Just enjoy with your team. Mm, just get, mm. Pretty much the, the only tip I can say here is just, just win your gunfight. That's it. I mean, that's, yeah. that's all you can say. You can't really have any kind of strategy here. But so far, I mean, Cloud on top, they kept it really close. Uh, 44, 45 to 43. No contest coming in. But now this next hill, this one is actually where a lot of the teams in public matches, they just stack this together. At least mm. just, you know, four people inside of it. But I don't know, did anyone grip, get that cluster? There you go, that's the Fred from the side of Cloud Drop. They're gonna get some time here. And now this is gonna be huge because it's such an open hill. At the same time, your teammates can just cover you from all the different angles. Yeah, I agree with you, man. This is the money hill within this map itself. They should be able to hold it on. But the one weakness on the side of Claude Raw on top in this particular situation is they don't really have anybody on top to manage those uh, sparrow plays that Pegasus just showed us. By Kim's now the threat activated as well. 55 to 62, just catching up on this match as they take over the hill. Look at this break coming through. Claude Raw on top getting up on top this time around that gives them the advantage but they now need to make sure they continuously play one player up on top to continue winning all of these gunfights yeah that is true they just need to really you know, uh, need to know where these guys are spawning on it's such a small map you're going to be able to learn that on the fly but so far Pegasus MY they're taking the fight to Cloud though. they got the lead 80 to 64 now the reset comes through and, and no cluster strikes yet because once you have that cluster strike that's gonna be very huge for the team for both teams actually and you know i suggest if you are playing rust 
just run a sub machine gun. You're probably M on M13. You need to be re really mobile. You need to have those fast ADS as well as a lot of ammo. So yeah. The Type 25, the MX9, the not CBR4. the DLQ for sure. Man. Yeah. <laughs> not the DLQ for sure, unless you're glowy. <laughs> but the CBR4, I think that's the best weapon right now. Yeah, absolutely. The CBR4, you can bring it into the mods as well. You throw on a bunch of bullets on there. But the M13, because of the reason you have got the extended, uh, you know, mag with the 40 on, you should be able to sustain those sprays and be able to take on a couple of players without really being forced in for the reload. Zad will be bringing out the Type 25. He has got the Sparrow on activation as well. It's just a back and forth fight for this open hard point, which a lot of those operators can come in handy, as well as that very, very high angle, such as the one being held by Kimi. Yeah, you know, those huge angles, you know, playing the, that third floor, second floor as well. Very, very good, you know, just to be that anchor, you know, just trying to be annoying, get those players off uh, off the spots you don't want them. But at the same time, if you are going to stay there for the whole time, you're going to have your, a big target on your back. Because once the enemy spawn out of Rust, they're just going to aim up high to take you out. Yes, and Wolfie doing really good with all of those Sparrow plays. And Claudra on top taking away the second hard point as those players now just hold on to exactly what they feel will be able to win this game for them at that bottom right hand corner of that map. As you guys can see, they are cutting off each and every single entry point towards this hard point. But the one place where you cannot hold on to is under this refinery, right? Because it's just a tight spot. And many of those angles that those players just sneak in from Claudra on top, they will be able to now hit that 104 point, equalize and run away with this matchup. But it's just for a couple of more seconds before the next hard point comes into activation. And it might not be played once again, as we saw earlier on Pegasus MY, just abandoning it and you know, just fighting for points. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, that's going to be very, very hard. But look at Cloud and how their rotation is in. And all you have to do, once you hop on that rust, on that second floor rust, that, that's it. That's all you have to do. Lay down. Yeah. Don't even challenge. Wait for your teammates to get all the kills for you. And they should end the game here if you are Cloud Run. Absolutely, man. I mean, you are absolutely right, Jericho. Just lie down. Don't really get super aggressive. Don't really get super tacky with those plays. Now, finally, Kimi coming in here for that one final challenge. Will be able to find a player out in the open. Still unable to play for the points just oh. yet. Steps in, finally. Sad Respiris taken out. And Pegasus MY. It's now Kimi's turn to lie in wait for a challenge. Yeah, Lion waited in the challenge, but that's not going to end the game. Chase is there as well. They actually managed to kick, uh, get the player off the time. Wolfie already that third floor. Going to get some players off rotation. Ten more seconds. And now this sh should be a game for Cloud Ray. You know, they have that lead here. All you have to do is pretty much stack the hill. You know, don't let one player stay in anymore. If you want to end the game, stack it with a lot of the players. Zyro. On the rotation, gonna get taken down by Aaron. Sad Rasperis as well will be there. And now here comes the rotation. Yep. Now step why all they need to do is just pull the flank off, reset the spawns of Claudra on top to save themselves from this game just for the time being. But no, <laughs> they are just going in with a beeline straight for that hard point. They bash their heads through. They take this so easily. And my oh my, they didn't even break the spawn, but the gods of RNG gave it to them. Yeah, and gave it to them in the last four points. They're going to be able to get it. Actually, Sad Respirize takes down two players. No one's on the hill, but Aaron is there. He's trying to hop on it. He did hop on it. The test is in. Take out that player. Two more oh, points. One. No one is there for the test. And 